<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kieradice. I've been learning Japanese for 30 something days now, so about a month. And I've just been playing via Duolingo, which I love Duolingo. Shout out to you, Duolingo. Y'all keep doing your thing, okay? Because I see that y'all have a bunch of languages on there that I want to try. Like, I've done a level of Swahili. I've done a level of Klingon. Like, they're going in. They're having so many. So I decided, like, let me just start learning Japanese. And I'm donning my kimono to talk about my experience with a 30-day streak or 34-day streak of Duolingo and how much I've learned. So I um, have used Duolingo for five or six, seven years now. I have basically had learned Portuguese through it, which is really good. Um, I, rec I recommend it for languages where you don't have to learn a new writing system. I think it would be really challenging. Like for instance, me doing Japanese, it's really difficult, but they do advise for you to like supplement that with like writing down the um, uh, the katakana and hiragana and stuff like that. But I just don't feel like doing any of that, okay? I I speak fluent Chinese, so I do have the kanji down, at least how to write it and stuff like that. But <laughs> I'm just going to be play, like, playing with the app. That's it. That's how I want to learn Japanese, as informally as I possibly can. So I'm on a 30-day streak, 34 days of... Um, I got to like 40, the highest amount that you can do for a daily goal. Um, anyway, I just want to like take the time to make this video ranting about how hard Japanese is. Oh my God, Nippongo, right? Is that how you say it, Nippongo? If you speak Japanese out there, don't take any offense. I'm not talking crap about Japanese or Japanese people or the Japanese language. I think it's a beautiful language. It's a fabulous language. I love it, but it's just hard. Oh my gosh! And I like I thought I here I am thinking you speak fluent Chinese. They use a lot of Chinese characters, and there must be some kind of derivation, der derivation, derivation from of Jap from J Japanese from Chinese. You get what I'm saying? I'm just tongue tied. Wow, <laughs> it's, it's so hard. I don't know. It's just like, oh, I thought Chinese was hard, which it is hard, but it's not hard. When you're thinking about comparing it to Japanese, like, oh my gosh. Okay, let me give you an example. Y'all and all this wa. Wa. San. No. Okay, san I get because I've been listening to Memoirs of a Geisha um, audiobook and like everything is so and so san, you know, so and so san, Kiara san, um, Hachimoto san. <laughs> Hachimoto san. But not only that, you have to say wa after. I don't, I still don't know what that is. If you can explain to me wa, I'll put, I don't know if I can put stuff here. I'll try to like put what I'm talking about wa, like it comes after the noun. Yeah, I think it comes after the noun. So you say it or the, uh, I don't know. And then there's also one called o, o, I'll put it here. It comes after the object, so you have to be like, I wa go eat um, pancakes. Oh no! But you know the the sentence structure is backwards. Okay, at least in Chinese, it's subject, verb, object, just like English. Okay, so it's like I eat food. Subject I eat verb food object in Japanese. I think the verb goes at the very end, right? So it would be like, I food eat not, right? Something like that. Like, I food eat not, which I mean, it makes sense in Japanese, but in when you're an English speaker or a subject verb object language speaker, oh, okay. I'd be like, what? And then, like I said, you have this like stuff where you, you got to add in like these little particles these little elements, these molecules into the sentence so to, to like signify that it's an object or a, a verb, I guess, because it's like ga, something. Like they taught us a sentence. Okay, let me try to speak some tri Japanese from what I can remember from my thir 30 days of learning Duolingo every day. Um, we've, I've got up to time two. 
right? So I'm telling them time. And that was, I know you can say, um, I think I can do it. Okay. Um, one to two, one, one, one is Ichi, two is Ni. So I can say two o'clock, 220. I think I can say 220. Um, Ni, so sad. <laughs> 220. Um, ni, what was our ni G? Ni G, ni pon des. It's 220. Ni G, ni, or you can say like wa. Oh my god, see if y'all speak Japanese, help me. I don't get it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I learned that, and I also learned um, America Jean des, you know, like that. I can do America Jean des, or oh, and then I can say. Uh, America, Jean, Des, Dewa, Arimasen. Even though, yeah, you guys don't even put the subject in there. Like, you, you don't have to say I for some reason or the pronoun. Oh my god, language. Oh my god. Oh, no, Japanese. Why you gotta be so hard? Man, not only that, you gotta like learn how to say, how to write like the han, the hanji, the kanji. Which I already know kanji. I can write it already because I, I know Chinese. But then you got to remember the hiragana of it and the katakana of it. It's like, why y'all got to do so much? Why? Why? Like some of the sentences is hiragana and some of it is katakana. I don't know when you use hiragana, when you use katakana, when you use... They said you use katakana when, um, when it's foreign derived words. All right. Okay. But they don't say when you use kanji, when you use hiragana. I hope I'm, I'm so like, my, my brain is literally like pfft, learning Japanese through Duolingo. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm on the time. I can tell y'all it's 2.20. Okay. Ni, ji, ni, pu, pu, des. Ka? If you want to ask. With a, ah, see, you want to have a question, you say at the end it's so cute it's like it's like ma in chinese but god okay what else can i say because we, we we've learned um some food stuff food um sanata no sanaka 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 i think it's fish that's one thing i hate too in chinese one character is one syllable okay one chinese character is one syllable in Japanese, one Chinese character might be 40 syllables or something. Like the one character for fish, right? I know it because it's Chinese, but it's got, it's three syllables. So it's three hiragana. I hope y'all know what I'm trying to talk about. Uh, Japanese, I need y'all, I need y'all to like, give, give, give us a break. <laughs> Cause like, I think fish is uh so in Chinese it's you this character you and in Japanese it's like sakana <laughs> sakana I might be wrong that might not okay I I did oh ooh. okay watashi wa oh dang I can't remember it it like watashi wa Sakana o. Oh, I can't remember how to say eat. Eat. Um. Tabe. Tabe. Da. Da. Dewa mas. Dewa arimasen. Anyone? Did, did any of y'all get that? I was trying to eat. I was trying to say I do not eat fish. Watashi wa. Sakana o. Or do I say ga? Ga? Takana ga uh uh tabe dewa arimasen itadakimasu <laughs> okay well <laughs> i think i've ranted enough about japanese love japanese i'm gonna try to get to 90 days every 30 days i'm gonna do an update so that's right now i'm just kind of at the the phase where I'm just confused about everything 
and hopefully in another 30 days I will be less confused about everything and hopefully in 90 days I can at least like carry like a decent conversation so yeah wish me luck on my learning Japanese I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe notification bell comment below if you speak of the Japanese or speak of the other languages we love languages here in Caradice okay love y'all bye